Hey, what is up guys? Spear Gaming here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can farm one of the triumphs for the Revelry event solo. And that's going to be the one where you have to generate orbs in strikes or the raid. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how you can farm this solo so you can get it done relatively quickly. So if you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor, smash that like button, share this video with a friend, subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications, and let's get into it. Alright, so first up, we're talking about the Verdant Light Cooperative Triumph uh, in the Revelry event. This is the triumph that requires you to get Orbs of Light generated in Strikes or Raids. So what you're going to do is you want to go to your director, you want to go over to Nessus, uh, and select in the bottom left corner the Leviathan Raid, and you're going to want to load into the normal Leviathan. We're going to be farming kills in the Castellum. Now you can do this solo, you can do it in a group. I would strongly suggest doing this solo, as you're going to have more enemies you can kill which means uh, you pretty much can get it done a lot quicker um, what I found when I was farming this was that if you go for headshots um, you get more percentage on the triumph rather than going for double kills uh, so once you load up into the Leviathan you're gonna want to run past all of these guys at the beginning uh, just go continue going up until you get to the next floor and you're gonna hit this man cannon uh, it's gonna launch you all the way to the top um, a lot of the veteran players are going to know exactly what I'm talking about when I say the Castellum, but I get people comment all the time, how do you get to certain things, so I figured I'd show you guys out. So, uh, once you take the man cannon all the way to the top, you're going to run past all these guards, and you're going to go through the door, um, and you'll just continue down the hallway until you reach the Castellum. Now, once you're in the Castellum, uh, basically this is the entry encounter for the Leviathan Raid. Uh, you can do this solo, like I said before, you're going to find it a little bit easier doing it solo because you're basically just wanting to farm headshot kills. Like I said before, Masterwork Weapons, uh, they will give you orbs on double kills, and Supers will give you orbs as well, but what I found was going for headshots is actually going to be the most effective way. So once you reach the Castellum, all you're going to want to do is find where the enemies are and just start killing them. Uh, they'll continuously spawn, they won't end spawning, uh, so you can just keep farming over and over again. Uh, like I said before, you want to go for headshots, that's why I was using Luna's Howl. I just happened to have it on me from when I was running comp. And uh, pretty much any weapon that can get headshots pretty effectively is going to be pretty good. There was a bug that we did encounter halfway through grinding this. Uh, there was a point where uh, my triumph score or triumph percentage was not going up anymore. It got stuck at 130. Uh, if that does happen to you guys, all you need to do is just reload back into the Leviathan and that'll fix it because that's what happened to us. Uh, mine got stuck at 130 orbs and Days got stuck at about 88. So. Um, if that does happen, just be aware, just reload, um, go back to orbit, go back to the Leviathan, and it should fix it. But overall, that's how you get this Triumph done. You can get it solo uh, pretty quickly. We got this done maybe like 30 to 45 minutes or so. Uh, did not take very long. Again, if you're doing this solo, it's going to be even quicker. Um, but let me know your guys' thoughts on the Revelry so far. This is how to get one of the Triumphs done out of the seven you need to get Arbalist. Uh, right now, currently, I have four or five of the Triumphs done. We're almost there, uh, so we might actually be able to get our hands on this gun today. But that's going to be it for me. Hopefully, this guide helps you guys out. If it does, be sure to do me a favor and let me know your feedback down below. What do you think about the Revelry, the Arbalist, the Triumphs, uh, the cosmetics? Overall, this event seems pretty cool. Um, the forest is actually pretty fun compared to Haunted Forest, so I think they definitely did good there. But thanks again for watching. Hopefully this helps you out. Uh, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications for more Destiny 2 content, and I'll see you guys in the next one.